Chromagon. Instead of thinking with portals, try thinking with colors. Developed by Pixel Maniacs, who gave me a copy of this game to show you what it's all about, so special thanks to them for making this video possible. Chroma Gun is a Portal-esque game where, much like in Portal, you're a test subject who goes through multiple rooms, solving puzzles, and in this case color-based puzzles, to proceed to the next room. Hopefully without dying, because otherwise the only color you'll be seeing is pitch black darkness. Get it? Because that means you're probably dead, or you're in that one level where the lights are out? Anyways, it plays like Portal where you have to survive the tests till the end. It kinda sucks that's essentially what you can say about Chroma Gun. It's Portal, but without the portals and instead a color gun that splats colors on objects. Kind of reminding me of Splatoon. But here's the real question. Is it good? Yes, the game is good, and fun. I really like the puzzles they made, and some of them are very cleverly done and require you to think outside of the box sometimes. So it's got some nice brain teasers. For a game based around color, you'd think it'd be some sort of silly kids game, but it's not. Pixel Maniacs did a good job of making it work as a game that I would put it on the level of Portal, so congrats to you on that. And much like Portal, it also has a narrator in the game, much like GLaDOS if she were a used car salesman. Sensational. You have successfully understood the correlation between triggers and worker droids. That makes you more intelligent than 39% of test subjects and 97% of test monkeys. It's pretty amusing and the narrator isn't annoying, so that's a plus. What's not a plus, and this is more of my problem as opposed to the game, but I'm still going to mention it. I think I get motion sickness with this game because during my playthrough of it, my head just overheats from playing the game. I'm not quite sure why that is, because it doesn't seem to be the environment with its simple color and design. It didn't stop me from beating the game, but I do want to mention that fact for some who may be affected like me. But overall, the game looks fine and it works well in the context of the game, being in a testing center and all. Is there anything else I can say about the game that sticks out? Well, for those of you that are colorblind, there is a colorblind mode available so you can still play the game, which is a very thoughtful design for those that might not be able to play it normally. So, do I recommend Chroma Gun by Pixel Maniacs? If you're a fan of the Portal games, then yes, I recommend it. As a regular player, I would still recommend it as well. It's a fun short brain teaser game lasting around two hours, so the length is right about the same as the Portal game. So if you haven't tried out Chroma Gun, I definitely recommend it. Maybe not highly, but definitely recommend it. If you're still unsure if you'd enjoy this type of game, I did do a full playthrough that you can check out on my Let's Play channel that I've been using as game footage. So, stay tuned for more from WizWorld 100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. See ya! Plus blue makes purple. I figured out what chinchilla means. <laughs> <laughs>